Hello everybody, welcome back to another Mid Journey version 5 tutorial. In this one, I want to show you the brand new Niji 5 style that launched today. It's called Style Cute or Cute Style and it's very, very cool. It's kind of like a mix of happy, kawaii type look and it's great for all of you that create anime art and images and that. You're going to love it. So here we go. So right now I'm in the standard Mid Journey bot and when I for type forward slash settings, you're going to see here that I do not have access in this server or in this situation to add in the Niji 5 bot so or to change the style so when I click on Niji 5 it's not there so I just wanted to show you that now I'm going to go over to the left side here and I've got my own server and it's called Curtis Mid J and this has just me and the Niji journey bot in the server so I've added it to its my own server and if I go forward slash settings and hit enter you'll see here that I got the not only is it defaulted to Niji version 5, it also gives me the option for the cute style or expressive style, which I showed you in one of my previous videos. So this is how you add it forward slash settings as I did there inside your own bot. Alternatively, while I got you, I might as well show you, uh, you can go to the Niji server or their own little server and they've got their own bot here and you can do the same thing. Just type in forward slash settings and presto, you'll see here you're in Niji 5 and then you can change it to cute style. So I'm going to go back to my own server and we're going to work over here. So here's an example of my own server. Now I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste in a link here and I'm going to put that in the chat because if you want to add Niji journey bot or a Niji bot to your own server, you just need to follow this link and follow the instructions and then that will take you there. So this will give you what I've got. So with that out of the way, let's go. All right. So to go ahead and create some stuff, let me just show you some examples that I made earlier. So I've gone ahead and you can see here I'm using the cute style and then I've got a magical fantasy spell book with particles and digital painting and all that fancy stuff. And if you look at it, I've got this cool looking book here. I've got another cool example here. Kind of looks like a mixture of Disney and anime. Nice look here. Here's another example. And then if you look at like some of the characters, when I said magical fairy casting a spell, a very generic uh, input, but I just want to show you the power of cute style. So there you go. I've got these four very different styles. Well, the bottom two are similar, but the top two are quite different. Also very good. If I upscale them here or, ups, or I uh, upsample them, here you go. Here's the first one. Here's the second one. And to do it, all you need to do is just go forward slash imagine. Oops. And then just type in what you want. If you want a mouse with cute eyes, hit enter. If you want to go ahead, if you don't want to change the uh, from the default style to style cute, you could just go forward slash imagine a mouse with big eyes dash dash style cute. And then that will also activate the same style. So that's how it works. That's how you can create some amazing art with style cute or cute style. Thanks for watching.